full of coffee for this next video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be attempting a 24 hour reading challenge and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna stay up all night to do this. I am hoping to complete this within two days, but realistically, it'll probably be three days. The last time I tried to do this, it took me, I think it was like 10 days to actually finish. And I just, I don't wanna be doing this for the next 10 days. So I'm really trying to get this done within two or three days. And I'm not gonna be as strict with myself. I think last time I was starting stopping the timer, whereas I kind of want to dedicate like, say today, maybe like 10 hours, depending when we start this. So if I dedicate 10 hours of today to just reading and listening to audiobooks and stuff like that, that's gonna count as 10 hours of reading. And I just feel like if I constantly start and stop, I will never finish this challenge. And if I attempt to stay up for 24 hours, nobody wants to see me after I stay up for 24 hours. I did actually start the timer already as I was getting ready this morning because I was listening to my audiobook. I am currently listening to Golden Sun and this one is kind of for another video so if I do finish this one in today's video I probably won't talk about it that much but I am hoping to get a few other books read. The timer is currently sat at 23 hours 16 minutes and 41 seconds and it is currently 10 to 11 in the morning and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of annoyed at myself for starting it so late because I I just had this like idea in my head that I was gonna get up at six o'clock I was gonna start this for seven and I'd be flying already like I'd be hours deep but of course that didn't happen I slept in and it's already coming up to 11 o'clock but you know what we're just gonna get straight into this challenge and the first book that I'm going to be reading is Not a Happy Family by Shari Lupina and honestly this has been on my physical TBR for definitely a year now and I just think that starting off with a thriller and it's not honestly that long um it's like 350 pages I think if I start off with a thriller then it might just hook me a little bit more because hopefully if it's a good book I will just want to fly through this and like see you know the conclusion of the story I don't know a lot about this one, but I do know that it's a whodunit and I'm pretty sure it's like a family thing. So the two people that die, I think are the two parents and the suspects are the kids that were with them. But I think I'm guessing they all have motive to want to kill their parents. And I don't know if it's like an inheritance thing, if it's, you know, something to do with their will, but I will find out soon. I really want to just get stuck into this challenge so we can just get those hours ticked off because we've got a long time to go before this challenge is going to be finished but I'm really hoping to find some good books in this and hopefully I read a few. I am, I feel like I am quite a slow reader and I kind of put pressure on myself sometimes with these challenges that I have to read like a certain amount of books but yeah we will see. I may only read like two books in this challenge but who knows, hopefully I can fly through this one. I do think after this one, I may be in the mood for like a little bit of a fantasy. And I have a few on my TBR, I think. I've got one for My Enemy by Olive Blake, and that'd be a great one to get ticked off because I'm not sure whenever I'm gonna have time to read that book this month. So yeah, that would definitely be a good one to get to. And maybe just like a little short book. I've got Convenience Store Woman, which is tiny. Um, it is 150, 160 pages, but I did read um, another book by this author and it freaked me out so much and it definitely put me in a weird, weird mood. So I'm not sure if that book will do the same, but I do know that she's kind of known for writing weird, weird narratives. So we'll see when we get to it. This is the first one that we're going to be starting with and I'm literally going to start this like within the next two minutes. <laughs>
looks like I haven't moved at all, but as you can see by our timer here, we are 17 hours, 47 minutes and 18 seconds into this challenge, which means obviously we have quite a long time still to go, but I have been, majority of the time I've been reading this book and also I think I maybe took like two hours to listen to my audiobook of Golden Sun and I think that audiobook is like quite a long one. It's around 19 hours or so. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I'll finish it in this video because I honestly don't know how many hours I have left on my audiobook like subscription thing because I think you only get 19 hours a month. So yeah, with this book, I am definitely over halfway. I am 226 pages into this and it's definitely fast paced. Like it's a very good kind of thriller layout. Like you are wanting to keep on reading. It's short chapters and at the end of every chapter, there's something that makes you want to carry on reading the book which I love about thrillers like I want to be hooked and I definitely feel like I am I don't think the story is like the most interesting one I've heard of I think it's definitely it's kind of like a classic whodunit and it's about you know it's all within like one family and you're just basically trying to figure out who killed you know the people that were killed in this story and yeah I would say that I am liking it I just don't think it's giving me like that five star or even four star feeling I do think it's good but I do think that a thriller really depends on the ending and how it's all wrapped up like that really makes a thriller good or bad for me like if it's something that I've guessed then I probably won't rate it that highly but if it's something that you know it all wraps up in a way where I wasn't expecting it but it also makes sense then I will obviously like think it's a good book because you know you didn't see it coming and that's what I enjoy about a thriller but yeah I don't really have a lot a lot to say about this one I am hopefully gonna finish it soon I have quite a lot of time left on the timer so I am thinking that I will finish it within 17 hours hopefully and then we can get on to the next one I think what time is it it's five o'clock already which is just insane like this day has flown in but I would love to start another book tonight and just like get in to reading something else but I am really happy that I picked up a thriller first because it's definitely like motivated me to read and yeah as I was saying it is one of those ones where you do just want to you want to find out you know so I do want to finish this one hopefully within the next hour so yeah I will update you then I mean if there's any other updates before the ending I will let you know if I you know guess who who done it I have a few ideas but yeah we'll see I'm gonna continue reading it now I just thought I would update you I also like haven't wanted to talk to the camera that much today because I'm just feeling like so gross today I need to wash my hair so badly so whenever I finish this book I need to do that but I will listen to my audiobook at the same time I just it's one of those days it's hair wash day and I am not feeling myself I'm feeling very gross <laughs> I feel about it because the ending was like good but it wasn't you know like crazy I'm not like surprised by it and I kind of like in a thriller when you are like kind of taken back by what's you know actually been happening the whole time but I I definitely suspected this person and this person was also suspected throughout the whole book so it just wasn't that much of a shock so I don't know maybe like a three star that's what I'm feeling on this one because it was enjoyable I obviously like just sat down and read it all day today and I didn't want to put it down so obviously something was hooking me to this book but I just feel like I will never think about this book again but I love a thriller and I do kind of enjoy most of them but yeah this definitely wasn't one of my favorites but I think a three star is a good rating for that. I am going to make some food now, shower and wash my hair and do like my whole 
nighttime routine and while I'm doing that I'm going to listen to my audiobook so I'm going to keep the timer on we're on 16 hours I've just paused it at the minute because I'm talking to you but yeah that's the plan for tonight I might start another book tonight and I honestly don't know what kind of book I'm feeling one for my enemy is definitely sticking out to me but I might just have a, a wee nosy through my shelves and see you know if anything else is tickling my fancy it is the next day and as you can see we currently have 15 hours still on the clock i actually didn't really end up listening to my audiobook much last night maybe for like 45 minutes or so and i just haven't had really time to do it today because i of course didn't get up at the time that i wanted to because i clearly am not a morning person i just cannot wake up any time before like half seven maybe if i don't need to do you know what i mean like unless i'm working then yeah it's just a problem and i wish i could get up earlier so i could actually get started on this challenge but it is currently half nine so we still have the whole day ahead of us and i really do have quite a lot of free time today so hopefully we'll be able to get like at least six or seven or eight hours ticked off today but the book that we are going to be starting is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and I don't know a lot about this one I'm pretty sure it's about like a group of teens or kids that have these like accentuated abilities and I think they work for the FBI to basically help them you know I don't know I don't really know to be honest I think they just help the FBI out because they obviously have these like powers almost i'm not overly sure i haven't read into this one a lot but i do know that it is so so popular and i've heard a lot of people saying that's very like quick read and i honestly think that's, that's what i need whenever i'm doing like a 24 hour video like the book yesterday that i read was definitely fast paced and i think that definitely helped me to you know actually finish the book yesterday so i would love to start and finish this one today i don't think it's too long um yes yeah, just over 300 pages so definitely realistic to finish this one today and yeah i've heard great things um i think a lot of people that i know of rated this like a four or five star so i definitely have a little bit of high expectations for this book and i know that this author like her writing is just very very popular i did start reading the inheritance games and i just loved the pacing of that book so yeah i'm hoping to love this book even more the naturals and the book that i read yesterday what was it called not happy family they both aren't on my tbr for this month so i'm really hoping if i finish this one today then i could maybe pick up one that's on my tbr because as i probably said i think like i really want to finish my tbr this month it's like a mental goal that i'm really really trying to achieve and i don't know if it's possible because i do obviously have like books like this i want to read that aren't on my tbr and i don't want to get in a slump i definitely want to be in the mood for every single book that i'm picking up this month but yeah it would be very very satisfying to get a little tbr book off of the list on this in this video Baby, kiss me Apologies, but 
Um, I just checked the timer and we're at about 10 hours and honestly I haven't read as much as I would have liked to today but I just needed to get some things done that I completely forgot about so I listened to my audiobook for a little while and I did read um, a good amount of this this morning. I'm about halfway through, maybe a little bit over halfway through now and I really like the pacing of this book. Like it doesn't feel like I have read 174 pages, it's just flown in and it's very, very bingeable. Like I'm enjoying the story and there is kind of like a mystery aspect of it as well. And I, yeah, I just, I'm liking the story, but I don't think it's like a five star read or anything like that. Um, But I definitely can see myself continuing this series depending on like the ending and stuff. But yeah, I really like the characters. Our main character is very interesting. For some reason, I thought going into this book like that they're kind of like supernatural abilities were going to be like totally unrealistic but I feel like people maybe could have these qualities it's more just like having a, a skill like our main character she's able to read people really really well and like she's always correct and I just feel like that's not like completely out of the norm do you know what I mean like I thought one of them was going to be able to fly or like disappear <laughs> or something like that but it's definitely more like realistic in their superpowers I guess um but I do think as the series goes on we might be able to like delve deeper into what they can actually do with their skill sets but yeah I'm hopefully gonna finish it today I don't know if I will but I would like to get quite a lot of well not a lot more hours because I still need to have dinner and stuff and then I get really tired if I start to read at night time but if I get like another three hours um of today then that will make it easier tomorrow to finish this challenge and I know that I have a few things to do tomorrow so it would be good to get like as much done as possible today not that I'm like trying to speed up the process or anything I just want to be able to you know like use my time properly and I just I'm more free today than I am tomorrow so it would be good to just dedicate the rest of the day to reading I am definitely free for like the next hour and then my partner comes home and we'll have dinner and probably like watch a wee show together and then I will get ready for bed and read for like an hour or two maybe, hopefully two hours or longer, I don't know, depending on how tired I am. I did just drink a monster so hopefully that helps a good wee bit but yeah, I'm going to continue reading The Naturals and I will update you whenever I have some updates. I can actually describe more like what's happening so whenever I first went into this book, I think I said like the only thing I know about it is that the teenagers have these like gifts, you know, like supernatural abilities. I don't know. They're just able to do things that regular people aren't. And they are recruited by the FBI, but they are specifically working on like cold cases that, you know, just cases that have never been solved, but it's very specifically serial killers. And yeah, they're just trying to find out like who these serial killers are and why they do what they do and there is like kind of an not an emotional like a personal connection with one of our main characters and her mom was murdered and we're trying to kind of see if it's linked at all I guess and yeah I mean nothing has been solved yet but we're definitely getting to the point where we're getting more answers and it's definitely making this very bingeable to read and we do also get the perspective of the serial killer but it just says you, it doesn't say like who it is, like a name or anything. But I have a feeling I might know who it is, but I don't know if it's like meant to build up the suspense of that or if it's more like why um the mum was killed or all these other girls are getting killed. So I'll just see how everything kind of escalates at the end and I'll let you know if I guessed it or saw it coming. But yeah. I am enjoying the mystery aspect of it and I, I kind of just like books where I can try and puzzle things together myself, you know? Hello, it is the third and hopefully final day of reading for this 24 hour reading challenge and we have four hours and 18 minutes left. I was actually listening to my audiobook earlier on today and last night I finished The Naturals and I started reading Belladonna. So I'm really hoping to spend the next few hours, well maybe not the next few hours because just the way plans are today, I can definitely read for the next hour and then I may be able to read for a few hours tonight but hopefully majority of those hours can be spent reading Belladonna because I, I don't know why, I 
held off on reading Belladonna for a long time. However, somebody I know recently read it and absolutely loved it. So I just thought that I would pick it up again. Well, not even again, because I never started it. You know what I mean. And I am like obsessed with it so far. I mean, I haven't read a lot of it, maybe like 50 pages, but there's something about this book that I'm like kind of obsessed with. Like I love the fact that Death himself is a character and I just think it's so interesting. So I'm definitely excited to read it and to carry on with this story because I feel like, you know, the main plot hasn't happened yet. It's really just starting off. And yeah, I just really want to see where this book goes. And I, of course, finished The Naturals last night, which I really liked. I kind of guessed the ending and like the mystery aspect of it, but there's something about those characters I really, really enjoyed reading about. And I 100% want to pick up the next book because, yeah, it was just a really enjoyable read. It was fast paced and, yeah, the author just really kept me wanting to read. In the end, I did give that book like a 3 slash 3.5. I would say more 3.5 stars because like it was very entertaining. I just like, I did guess the ending and I just thought, I thought of it more as like a cozy book, like something I would just read in between, you know, more intense books, which, you know, everybody needs sometimes, but it's not necessarily going to be a five star for me. I just, yeah, that was my opinions on it, but I did really like it and I'm intrigued by the rest of the series because it definitely ended in a way where it takes you straight into the next book, which I love in a series. It is currently coming up to four o'clock and we have four hours and 18 minutes left. So hopefully between reading Belladonna and finishing my audiobook, I can really just get these sorted today and if I don't catch up with you tonight I will definitely catch up with you tomorrow to finish off this video and just do a big debrief of all of the books that we read. Okay starting the timer again I'm gonna read like right now. but I did finally finish the 24 hour reading challenge and I'm not gonna lie I had so much fun recording this video like it just really motivated me to read and I found some good books in this challenge as well so let's talk about them let's go through them and do a bit of a debrief so the first book that I read in this challenge was Not Happy Family by Shari Lapina and I have heard amazing things about this author for so so long. I used to work in a secondhand bookshop and every single person that was looking for a thriller was looking for this author so that really like opened up my eyes to this author and definitely I had her on my radar from working in the shop. I think I actually bought 
yeah I did because we stickers on it of the price I bought this book in that shop so I have had this for about like a year a year and a half ish now and I did enjoy this book I read it so so quickly but I think I kind of guessed the way the ending was going to be and I wasn't like fully surprised by it so for that reason I did give it a three star I don't like um, I don't even mean this in a bad way I think it's because I read so many books like straight away after each other I don't fully like remember the story of this one I just know oh my god what was it oh yes so <laughs> the main story of this one was that there was um a, it basically just surrounded a family and they all spent Easter Sunday together and the two parents were very very rich and I think the kids like they didn't have the best relationship with their parents and they were basically just waiting for them to die more so the dad so that they would get their inheritance and that would be millions and millions of pounds and then later on that night after everybody has left the two parents are murdered and as we already know like every single child had a good reason to have wanted to kill the parents you kind of like it's just a who done it from there but it was very interesting i i enjoyed the story and i liked the characters i did just kind of figure out the ending so yeah for that reason i gave it a three star but i definitely recommend this it's a very good thriller and it just keeps you on your toes and i think that's what you need in a thriller then i went straight into the naturals by jennifer lynn barnes and there's something about her writing that i just love it is so so fast paced and everything i mean i haven't read a lot by her i've only read the inheritance games but i mean that book was also so fast paced and this one i did enjoy a little bit more like i liked the mystery in this and like it was a little bit of a thriller as well i guess it is young adult so it's nothing like too extreme but i did love this story one follows our main character who is a natural and basically a natural is somebody with like excelled abilities so our main girl she is known as a profiler and that basically means whenever she looks at someone or like an object she can like figure out who owns that object very very well or if she looks at a person she'll be able to tell if they're single if they went to college you know like just a lot of things about them just by looking at them and she's always correct so it's kind of skills like that and the fbi have hired these teenagers to basically solve cold cases so cases that you know just were never solved so that's kind of what they're focusing on and it's all to do with serial killers and there is a bit of a mystery aspect in this as well and I just I really had a good time reading this one I just thought that maybe like it wasn't my favorite book of all time but I definitely recommend it and I will continue this series and I think I gave it a 3.5 star that's like that feels right for me right now while I was reading those two I was listening to the audiobook of Golden Sun and I did finish this one. It did take me some time because I think the audiobook was like 19 20 hours and yeah it just felt like a long time for an audiobook but this is the second book in the red rising series and i am going to be talking more about this one in a different video but i did enjoy it i did find some of it to be very kind of complicated like there's a lot of action in this book and there's a lot of war and fighting and yeah a lot of characters that you kind of need to know so I did find some bits of it quite confusing but yeah this one will be part of another video so I don't want to talk about it too much and then after the naturals I started reading Belladonna on my kindle and I'm not gonna lie I wasn't expecting amazing things from this I think I'm 60% through so that I think it's around 250 pages in so I have read quite a lot of it and I'm not gonna lie this book is like five star material I am obsessed with this book all I want to do is sit and read it like it is so so good and I'm so surprised because for some reason I just always had something in the back of my head telling me that I wouldn't enjoy this book and I think it's because it was described to me as a very like gothic fantasy which it is but in my head for some reason I thought gothic wouldn't be like that entertaining but oh my god I am actually obsessed with this book and I don't think I've heard of anybody else that like I know of or like friends and stuff giving this a five star but honestly this is like so far five star for me I don't know what it is I think I just love the whole imagery of it like so death is a character in this book our main girl can't die basically and death is her whole life protecting her like killing everybody around her who is doing her wrong but she sees death as such a burden to her and yeah she doesn't enjoy you know death doing these things for her because everybody around her is like 
death follows her like nobody wants to be friends with her because of this and yeah it's just so so interesting but she basically goes to live with this family before she turns 18 and because whenever she does turn 18 she's gonna inherit a lot of money because her mother died and she was just very very wealthy so she's waiting for this inheritance so she goes to I think it's like a distant family member I don't really know she goes to stay with them and there's a bit of a mystery going on and she is able to use her kind of like powers with death like she works with death to try and figure out this mystery but I'm probably not describing it in the best way but oh my god the writing in this like all the metaphors are like linked to death and it's like very ghostly and supernatural and I don't know like I am obsessed with the writing in this book and the story is so so good like I can't recommend this book enough I'm so surprised I'm enjoying it this much but yeah I really want to finish this one soon so I'll definitely talk about it in my wrap up for the end of this month and I am honestly like 100% sure that I'm gonna give this a five star because it is so good like I need you to take this from this video you need to pick up Belladonna I absolutely love it so yeah hopefully I can finish this book today I do have work today unfortunately so I won't be able to read that much but yeah hopefully I'll get somewhat like further into this book I am 240 pages in which is 59% so I did get a lot of this book read in this video so yeah I'm very happy with the outcome of this 24 hour reading challenge and it's something that I would absolutely love to do again obviously I don't usually have as much free time as I did have this week and it still took me four days to complete this challenge but yeah it was just very motivating and I would love to do it again so let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one very very soon